Another key part about fishing in this particular manner is my setup. What you'll notice is I've got a rear, rear reaper rest and the front reaper. What this does is it frees my hands up. So like I've cast it out, I'm waiting for a bite, but rather than having the rod on my knee, which basically means every time I move, I bounce the tip around, everything's in, everything's nice and secure. The rear reaper actually grips the rod. As you can see there, rear reaper grips the rod and that's very much on. But the idea is the rear reaper grips the rod, the front reaper's got the little arm at the front, that stops my rod from getting pulled in. Cool, this is going some, to say the least. So if I am making a feeder up, because my hands are both free, I haven't really got any risk of losing the rod. But that is the beauty of having the rear, front and rear rest. I can make extra feeders up, saves a lot of time, particularly in a match situation. Having a lot of feeders ready saves a lot of time. So rather than sitting there doing nothing because I've got the feeder on my knee, I can make feeders up, put a new hook length on, fire some pellets out. I'm just freed up to do what I want. But at the same time, safe in the knowledge, the tip does go round, the back reaper's gripping the rod, the front reaper's got the arm as well, just in case to prevent it from being pulled in.